CataractCoach.com rescued this capsular rexus. Here we have the dreaded Argentinian flag sign. This is a patient with an intumescent white cataract. The fake incision has been made. Forceps are being used to go inside and start the capsorexis. And you can see it wants to run out because there's a lot of pressure. The cortex in the capsular bag has been liquefied and is pressurized. So trying to go the other direction, but still we have a pressurized posterior capsule. There can be liquefied lens cortex under the nucleus, pushing the nucleus anterior. So you try to start this caps rexus from the other side and you try to pull around, it just radializes. That's because the nucleus is pushing up. So now micro scissors are gonna be used here to cut to create hopefully a better capsular opening, a capsulotomy, no longer possible to create a good caps rexus. And again, what we wanna do is depressurize that capsular bag. This is why we do techniques such as the double rexus technique or using a needle to decompress the lens before we start the rexus. So now that it's been opened up more sufficiently, care is taken to remove this nucleus without putting stress on the bag. Very important here. There are two areas that are now radialized. And if a lot of force is exerted on the posterior capsule, if you push the nucleus towards the posterior capsule, that can cause sufficient pressure to cause a radialization of this tear and a wide open posterior capsule. Technique of chopping the nucleus and not depressing it. He's lifting up the nucleus, chopper goes around. Even though it's a very dense nucleus, he's able to chop this. Very careful to do limited movements. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on any part of the capsule bag. You want to take your time and remove this nucleus. And there's the type of nucleus where you'll have to chop it many times. So chop, chop, and more chop. And the technique here works very well because the nuclear pieces are now brought up out of the capsule bag. Remember, the big danger here is if you try to do a divide and conquer technique now with two areas of the capsule that are very weakened, and when you try split that nucleus with your divide and conquer technique, you may actually rip the posterior capsule wide open. So care has to be taken to be very cautious here. Now, what could we have done to prevent this Argentinian flag sign? Well, we can help by decreasing the pressure that's in the capsule bag. So in the previous techniques we've shown, we've kept the anterior pressure in the anterior chamber very high by only having one or two small paracentesis incisions don't make the big phaco incision because that won't allow you to pressurize the AC enough. Now, once you pressurize the AC with viscoelastic, your goal is to make the pressure in the AC higher than the pressure in the capsule bag. And the pressure in the bag is from the liquefied lens cortex, which is both in front of and behind the nucleus. So here we go. Now, very smart move, keeping the phaco probe in the eye in position one, and now using viscoelastic with the other hand to fill it up. Beautiful technique there. Now, by manual irrigation aspiration, remove the lens cortex, and that comes that proceeds normally. Important not to let the anterior chamber collapse. And the reason is, if you let it collapse, you can have radialization of that lens tear out on the capsule, and it can affect the posterior capsule. Here's a single piece acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. Another appropriate option would be a three-piece lens in the bag or in the sulcus. Thanks for the great video. I trust you learned a lot. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. Sign up for the free daily email and click on the link to submit your video. We want to learn from you too.